Hi, digital marketers. This is Faisal Ami. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will try to show you how to set up Facebook offline conversion tracking for your business. So, no more delay. Let's get started. So, before started, I just want to ensure you how Facebook offline conversion tracking works. So, I just want to share a story to understand why you need the Facebook offline conversion tracking setup. Suppose uh, meet Sarah, uh, she owns a trendy furniture store in their city. Her team runs Facebook ads showcasing beautiful handicrafted dining tables. Sarah noticed that people click her ad, but when she checks online sales, not many people are buying through the website. So she thinks, are the ads even working? Why are people just clicking and forget? But what Shara doesn't realize is this. People see her ad, then come directly to the store. And they browse, ask questions, and many of them actually buy the table in person. But Facebook has no idea those sales happen. Then Sarah learns about Facebook offline conversion track. So then what she does, she starts collecting buyer data at checkout, name, phone number and purchase date. And every few days, she uploads his customer data into Facebook offline event manager. Then Facebook securely encrypt the data and matches it with people who show or click her ads. Suddenly, Shara sees the full picture. Wow, 37 customers come to my store because of my ad last week. Now, Facebook knows which ads are really working even if the sale didn't happen online. It starts optimizing her also to reach similar people, more likely to buy in the store. As a result, better performance, more efficient ad spend, and Shara finally see the true ROI of her campaign. The moral of the story is if your customer buy offline, don't let your data stop online. So track it, upload it, and optimize it. That's the power of Facebook offline conversion tracking. So I hope you can understand why you need offline conversion track. So no more delay. We are go to the main task. How can you set up Facebook offline conversion tracking for your store or business? So as usual, I'm go to the Facebook. You already know that. How can you create the business account on Facebook after Completing this process, you just go to the business settings and in the business settings, um, you go to the data source because here you can find out offline event sets. So I'm click on it. So add it and giving the name of the offline conversion tracking that is I am giving my name only and offline that will be the understand and finally create and you have the option to uh, select your ad account which account you have to implement with the on offline conversion track so i am selecting just ad account my ad account and next and finally click the ok and here you have to set up the permission so you just giving the full control and just select the person you want to permission to him or her and finally assign and done and then click the convert to data set select on it convert now and you have to find out your data set that is Vasalami offline that's we are created so go to open in event manager and you have to find out your event manager facebook offline so here is the option uh, you can also send event from a server, website event from browser activity, share data from your mobile app. But our today target is a spreadsheet. So we are upload the CSV file, which data that is first name, last name, all data. So upload CSV file on it. And already here, you have to find out the example CSV file. So if I click on it, and here you can see the example already i am download it before so if i click the open here you can see that uh, the email one email phone first name last name zip code city 
but it is depends on your data. You do not find out each and everything according to the Facebook Excel sheet cell. So if you optimize it, your data, uh, which data you have to collect from the offline, then you can make a sheet like that and you can upload to the Facebook. I hope you understand. So go to my CSV file here. You have to find out the select CSV file. So I'll click on it to adding the csv file so select csv file and go to my uh, file section and attach to it my csv file and then continue and you can see that my all data are adding with the facebook offline conversion but here you have to edit time that is month uh, date month year and the, your uh, select time zone and you have to edit on it according to your time zone then continue so you can see that your event have successfully uploaded to your offline event setup are being processed and done and our work is done so you have to use this offline conversion event with your any kind of ads already you can see that we are already adding with the ad account and if i am go to the campaign and go to ads and adding go to the ad set you have to find out the tracking option on your ad here you can see that offline conversion that is almost um, activated you can use this offline conversion with your tracking so we are successfully create uh, facebook offline conversion tracking for your business and that is the easy process. Easily you can create the Facebook offline conversion for your business. And you can also add in your offline conversion with your ad. Here you can see that our offline conversion already activated. So I hope you understand how can you create the Facebook offline, con offline conversion tracking for your business. I will see in the next video with a new topic. Thank you. Take care.